told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away, yeah, 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 yeah. As you fade away Hey guys, what's up? Hope you really enjoyed this introductional video. In this video, I'm trying to demonstrate you how you can use this amazing tool called Makina Fractal Essence, which is currently available on Marketplace Epic Games. You can go and you can buy it from here. And guys, you need to know about something most important things before purchase this. That is like they have already included nine levels in total, nine different formulas. Each formulas can be animated separately. Also, there's a most important thing about the GPU. They actually recommend to use at least RTX 2080 Ti or the faster one. Also, this video is completely sponsored by Makina Infinitum. So thank you and let's get started guys. So guys right now I am in Unreal Engine 5 and as you can see whenever you just open it for the very first time you can see this level by default will open and if you zoom it you can see there are a lot of details are here. If you notice see there are very nice amazing details. So basically what the fractal is previously we can see the fractals in two dimensional mode like whenever you use After Effects or any other 2D softwares you can use any textures and added that kaleidoscope effect and then you can literally feel that fractals but in this case you can see the fractals inside of unreal engine in completely 3d space this is the amazing thing so as you can see they have told nine different different levels so let me show you a few and i'll show you how you can customize this and how you can use it on your customized level so here you can find these many options this is like our main material so this is called material instance so whenever you select the main model base you can find this material over here when you double click here the material settings will open up here whatever changes you will do you can exactly see it here and also in real time here as well so now you can see there's a call coloring emission fractal parameters and setting and general so these are the basic parameters you have to control with the help of this so starting with the colors you can see there are so many options like color presets periods and then minimum color iterations there are so many things also you can see there are three textures are included this is called triplanar mapping if you want only separate texture you can do that as well if you just use this texture option turn on you can put any texture over here for the texture you can find out they have already added a texture button here so just click and you can find there are so many textures here whatever texture you just want to use just select drag and drop into here so now as you can see whenever I'm changing this texture you can see the live rendering is getting changing the colors here also you can change the hue shift here so if you increase this hue shift you can see in center of this kind of colors are getting changing so I'm just making it default back again okay now talking about the emissions which is my most favorite thing here so is this area is called emission area so these areas can emit the most of the colors from the entire scene so how you can customize this let me show you that so this is called emission period like how much time it will emit so if you increase this you can see the emission period will be increased it's just kind of like a power of the emission then this is called the basic emission offset you can change it like in front or like in depth whatever you can do just make it it's very precise now this area is called minimum color radiation you can see you can change the colors from any directions just like this I'm just want to form this bottom so you can change it like this so basically you have to just play around with all this so if you want to change the colors you can change it from here you can see it's real time changing the colors so let's change the color to a little bit of blue and you can really increase the colors just like this you can see this colors changing process is literally amazing and if you want to change the midpoints also you can change it from here too now this is called the fractal parameters the most important part also so this power is basically for your fractal like how much fractal you really required for this shot so this is defined that if you decrease it the fractal will getting more decreased if you increase obviously it will increase 
okay this is called the loop how much loop you want you can customize it from here as well so in this same process you can literally use the other levels as well if you just select any other level okay this is another level which is my most favorite level as well because this look really some kind of spaceships and all if you just click your left mouse and if you just press w you can literally go inside of this completely scene and this scene is literally large scale so you can do whatever you want you can literally animate your cameras and you can see the textures the details are so amazing crisp and clear you can use some depth of field anything whatever you want to do so let me show you how you can animate this kind of things inside of the level sequence so to animate this first of all you need to create a new add level sequence and here you can just make it to like render and then just press save now you can see this is called a level sequence after that if you want to animate this fractals simply select drag and drop into this timeline after that you can find out this called track select you can find out static mesh component select this after that you can find one more track select and you can select this material parameters element zero that's it now you can find out parameters panel where you can find there are so many controllers here i'll show you about the loop because this is the most easiest process to demonstrate so just click this loop now you can find out automatically by default a keyframe is here so just you can make it to like zero and go to the last frame and just make it to one that's it now whenever you play you can see some loop things are happening okay for the render settings they have already created a preset so i am just using that same preset you can use that link is in description box below go and download it's completely free go to windows you can find the cinematic panels where you can find these many options okay but here you don't find one option to enable this go to edit plugins and here you can find called movie movie where you can find this called movie render queue just select and restart your unreal engine after restart just go to windows when cinematic you can find this movie render queue button just select this you can find this window panel here so you just go to render and select this your render level sequence after that double click on this unsave here where you can find this load save and preset so first of all when you click you can't find anything here so you need to import that preset here just close this panel and minimize this after that select this fractal materials essence then left click and you can find this option called show in explorer just turn it on you can find this browser now simply go to your downloads and just drag and drop that preset to here that's it so this preset it came up here just close this you can find the preset is completely like this open this movie render queue and select this unsafe configuration load preset now you can find out this mmp render settings select this you can find out this exr you can use this exr as well but i don't use this i am using the jpeg sequence or like png just select the jpeg after that go to anti aliasing now you can find out this is a sample which is 120 it is pretty high if you have a good G GPU, you can use it otherwise you can decrease or else you can increase as well so i'm using 64 because as they have told 64 is a good number and you will get a very proper output then select the output panel where you can find this like output directory select your directory select the sequence name resolution and the frame range or fps that's it after that simply press accept whenever you happy with settings just simply press render local it will start your rendering now guys i will show you if you want this fractal material in your specific scene or a specific level then how you can do that for that you need to create like any level so for here i'm just creating a new level open world and simply press create so as you can see this is a completely blank space okay so i'll show you how you can create the material here or just like a fractal so first of all you just need to go to windows and you can find this place actor panels where you just go to this option you can find this plane option just select drag and drop the plane will come up here just simply select and just drag it to top just a bit and now select the plane go to details now you can find this called static mesh find one more thing that is called b-o-u-n-d bound now you can find the values are like 3000 if you don't see this 3000 value make sure you need to maintain this 3000 value otherwise the fractal will not work properly whenever see your values is properly done just close this window after that you can find this element panel now go to any your preferable level you want to apply here just select anyone from here select this material instance select drag and drop into this element zero that's it now you can find it automatically come up here just like this it's just simply drag and drop process and you can see all of a thing in front of you in real time also you can change it in any time if you want to change select any other material select and drag and drop 
that's it it will automatically update in just one second now if you want to customize this simply double click you can go inside of this and same thing you just need to change the settings to customize this and guys make sure whenever you zoom it can lag your system so just try to use it in zoom out mode so yes in this way you can literally do amazing stuff so make sure you just do and tag me on my instagram facebook also you need to follow their website makina infinitum website and you can purchase it and also i just want to thank makina infinitum team for providing this and i am really happy to review this and yes that's it for today hope you really enjoyed this video and my name is rajat thank you for watching i'll see you in my next video till then keep watching keep rocking vfx world